So that's enough theory for the moment. Let's have uh, a quick look at a good example, a bit of a demo. First thing I need to do is just to show you that the printing uh, policy obviously just has printing uh, settings in. For some reason they've called everything high definition experience. That's obviously just marketing blurb, so uh, you need to bear with that. So everything will be under HDX plug and play. And under defaults, let's just have a look at client drive mapping, which is what I'm just going to look at. And as you can see, there's no blue arrow. There's nothing configured at this stage. And any time you are, um, for instance, the mappings here, if I go to the help, uh, it'll bring you to the uh, mappings part. And it also tells me that if you don't enable the mapping, it will actually map the client drives by default. Okay, so sometimes the help can be quite useful. Uh, for some reason, if I go to connection and do the help, it loses the pointer. So I'm not quite sure what the issue is with that. But sometimes the help is useful. Anyway, there's no drive uh, configuration. So let's log in. Let me just show you the users I'm going to be using. And we'll go to my CTX domain with a CTX OU. Now I've got two users. I've got the super user who is actually a member of the CTX admin group and we've got a user called Brett who is just a common or garden CTX user. I've put those in AD groups because that's how I'm going to refer to them in the Citrix consoles. So if I just log into my Citrix farm, there's Brett, BP, and he's got a limited set of applications he can access. And we'll just launch a uh, Office application. This is going to be all about client drive mapping. So we want to see uh, whether it's mapped any of the local drives. It's taking a moment to go in and I'm going to go to the file open dialog you could go to the file save as doesn't really matter and you can see that it's actually mapped the floppy drive um, the D drive of the client the C drive of the client okay so that's the default so uh, we've decided as an enterprise that we don't want to allow that kind of client drive mapping so I'm going to come out of that application Actually, I'm just going to go to the uh, connection center and just confirm that it's actually logged off the uh, session on the server. Sometimes it does, which it has in this case, sometimes it doesn't. Back to our console. Now, the default is going to be, let me go to client resources, drives. So it's not totally intuitive, but I need to enable this setting to do not connect the client drives. And with the mappings, I need to enable the policy and I'm going to turn off all the possible drive mappings. I'm going to click OK. Now I just want to test that again. So I'm going to go back to my user, back to the same application, the one make too many changes, too many variables and then to the file dialog. Now here we can see all the client drive mappings have gone. We still have a floppy disk there, we still have a CD but that's of the local um, Citrix server. Right so this time let's log in as an admin this is going to be a super user and you can see they have more permissions they can go in to see more applications we'll just stick to the same uh, application and we'll check out the file dialog right so there's no client drive mappings there we can see a network connection to DFS on ZenFS and we've got the local Citrix disk drives. So the idea, if we go back to our policies, is we're going to create a policy, 
let's just create a new policy and I'm going to use the same uh, similar naming convention I'm just going to isolate the client drive mapping and it's only going to apply to admins actually I could put CTX admins but just for the moment I'm going to stay with that now we need to go to the plug and play we're just going to concentrate on the map drives now the first thing we need to do as before we need to enable the fact that they can connect then we need to go to mappings and enable that and we're going to allow remote drives we're going to allow floppy drives because that enables us to do the USB and the only thing we're going to do is to turn off the CD drives okay so we don't want to map the CD drive from the client device okay now that's a blank that's not blank so that's a policy it won't apply to anybody until we put on the filter and let's just filter on that user group let's see where they are they'll be in the CTX uh, OU and there they are so the CTX admin and the super user was a member of that group now we need to go back let's come out of our application I'm just going to check from the connection center that we actually have closed the session on the server sometimes the server appears there okay oh, I've actually clicked on access there we'll go to a file dialog and we haven't got any. 